Deep beneath Pakistan's rugged terrain lies a story of hidden wealth. From the deserts of Baluchistan to the high valleys of Gilgit-Baltistan, the soil and rock hold more than meets the eye. Minerals that power electric vehicles, wind turbines, defense systems, and high-tech electronics, many of those materials are found in this land. Today, we journey into Pakistan's frontier of minerals, copper, gold, lithium, rare earths, and what new discoveries mean for the future. This is not just about extraction, it's about value, sovereignty, and the next chapter of industrial transformation. In southwestern Balochistan lies one of the world's largest undeveloped copper gold deposits, Reko Dik. The ore body contains billions of tons of material with copper, gold, and trace rare elements. This isn't just mining, it's a strategic asset. Copper is the backbone of electrical infrastructure and clean energy, and gold remains a financial safety net in uncertain times. In recent months, the Asian Development Bank approved a large loan to support Recodix development, signaling global interest. But the real game changer lies in the trace rare earth content and how Pakistan can add value, not just dig ore, but refine it. Pakistan is increasingly recognized as a potential player in the global rare earth race. Recent geochemical surveys have identified light rare earth elements, LREEs, such as cerium, lanthanum, neodymium, praseodymium in regions like the Skardu Chilas Belt in Gilgit Baltistan, the Neelam Valley in Azad Kashmir, the Tarbela Swat Bunar Belt in Khaibar Pakhtunkhwa, and Monazite rich places in Potohar, Punjab. For example, near Sillai Patti in KPK, sampling found neodymium at approximately 314 ppm, cerium 915 ppm, lanthanum 519 ppm, giving total rare earth oxide values between 1900 and 3300 ppm, promising for pilot extraction. What does this mean? Neodymium and praseodymium powers high-performance magnets used in EV motors and wind turbines. Lanthanum and cerium are important in catalysts, glass polishing and battery materials. If Pakistan can move from raw mineral to concentrate and refine, the value chain is vast. That said, the country currently lacks large-scale refining and separation capability, which is the major bottleneck. Beyond traditional ore bodies, Pakistan also holds unconventional sources of strategic minerals. Along the Makran coast of Balochistan, heavy mineral sands containing monazite extend for nearly 200 kilometers, with monazite-rich sand samples averaging 1 to 2 percent REO equivalent. In the Thar coal fields of Sindh, fly ash and residues are under assessment for recovery of lanthanum, cerium and yttrium with REE contents of 200 to 400 ppm. Meanwhile, the pegmatite zones in Swat there contain beryl, columbite, tantalite and other rare metals like lithium used in battery technology. This diversification means Pakistan isn't just one mineral mine, it's a minerals ecosystem. But again, extraction, refining, environmental management all remain big questions. The story isn't only about rare earths. Pakistan's mineral map is rich in strategic metals too. Antimony, essential for flame retardants, lead acid battery alloys and defense applications. In October 2025, Pakistan reportedly delivered a shipment of antimony to the US under a critical minerals deal. Chromite, used for stainless steel and ferrochrome, iron ore, zinc, lead, foundational for infrastructure, defense and industrial sectors. The recent MOU between US Strategic Metals and Pakistan's Frontier Works Organization FWO, for Rs 500 million investment underlines how the world is eyeing Pakistan's minerals. The benefit is clear, instead of exporting raw ore, value addition smelting refining could keep more wealth inside Pakistan and build industrial capacity. Recently, 
a parliamentary panel reviewed investment opportunities in smelting and value addition. Global strategic medium political gravity. The global race for rare and strategic minerals has become a geopolitical battleground. For decades, China controlled over 60-70% of rare earth production and refinement. Pakistan's emerging mineral sector places it in a new strategic position. On 2nd October 2025, Pakistan shipped an inaugural consignment, including rare earths like neodymium and preciodymium, antimony and copper concentrate to the United States under a $500 million agreement. If Pakistan can build local refining capacity, establish transparent governance, protect the environment and secure community benefit, it could leap from raw materials exporter to strategic supplier, helping its own economy while contributing to global clean tech and defence supply chains. But major challenges remain. Less than 5% of its mineral terrain has been explored in detail. Geological potential does not yet equal commercially feasible reserves. The stakes are high. Pakistan's mineral wealth could be worth hundreds of billions of dollars, but only if policy, investment and industrialization align. Mining is not without cost. The extraction and processing of rare earths and strategic minerals can cause water contamination, habitat destruction, radioactive waste, and social dislocation. Experts warn that without strong environmental and social safeguards, Pakistan could solve one crisis and create another. For mining to truly benefit Pakistan, local communities must have a stake transparent contracts, value addition inside the country, rehabilitation of mining sites, and fair distribution of benefits are essential. Pakistan is at a crossroads. Will it follow the path of short-term extraction or build a long-term sustainable minerals industry that supports its people and environment? Pakistan stands on the threshold of a mineral revolution. The wealth beneath its feet offers more than raw materials. It offers a path to industrialization, technology partnership, and strategic relevance. The question isn't whether the world will need these minerals. The question is whether Pakistan will be the one supplying them and whether it will turn that supply into long-term benefit for its people. Join us next time as we dive deeper into one of Pakistan's mineral hotspots and ask, what will it take to turn promise into reality? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more stories from Pakistan's frontier of minerals.